Obama spent over one million dollars to seal and conceal every identifying document that would clearly disclose to the American people who he really is and if he really is constitutionally eligible to serve as President of the United States. To date, not a single state of the United States has verified with an original certificate of live birth indicating a doctor's name and a hospital location the actual birthplace or birth state of Barack Obama. We found in databases 140 addresses for Barack Hussein Obama that are connected to 39 different social security numbers. And what is even more alarming uh, and unthinkable that the social security number that Obama used most frequently uh, in Chicago, in Somerville, Massachusetts, and in Washington, D.C., was a social security number issued uh, in the state of Connecticut. Obama never lived in the state of Con Connecticut. Investigators Susan Daniels and John Sampson are asking why the president is using a social security number reserved for Connecticut applicants. And my question, did oh, do you know... Oh, that's two sentences, Lester. That, that, I, I, and two I, sentences, I, I, and yes. my question, do you know of <laughs> any record that the president ever had a mailing address in Connecticut? <laughs> Lester, I, uh, I, I, I am... I've been asked to ask We don't know where that man was born. I'm going to make that long-legged Mac Daddy tell me where he was born and who he is and where he came from. I, I'm going to demand the truth. Well, I would like the president to produce his birth certificate. <laughs> yeah. I, I can. What? I can. And most what? illegal aliens here in America can. Why can't the president of the United States produce a birth certificate? If your birth certificate is what it is, what's the big deal? Are you one of those who believes that the president should have to prove that he's a citizen of the United States and not an illegal immigrant? Are you that far right? Well, well gosh, we all had to bring our birth certificates to uh, show we were who we said we were, and we were the age we said we were to play football and youth sports. Yeah. Shouldn't we know exactly that anyone who wants to run for public office uh, is a natural-born citizen of the United States and is who they say they are? If a person were to attain the office of president, knowing that he was ineligible and by purposely defrauding the American electorate, by falsifying or cloaking his identifying records, that person would certainly have committed a serious criminal act, an impeachable act, and perhaps a treasonous act. Every law he signs, every treaty he enters into, every order he gives to troops would necessarily be illegal laws, treaties, and orders. This is Tim Adams, a one-time senior elections clerk for the city and county of Honolulu, and you claim uh, President Obama was not born in Hawaii. There is no long-form birth record, which would have been the case if President Obama was born in hospital in Honolulu. There is no such form in Hawaii. He does have a certificate of live birth, which is given to children of families who are residents of Hawaii, when children are born outside the state. So I assert that he was born outside of Hawaii. The factcheck.org has asked for, from the Obama people and from Hawaii, for the copy of the long form birth certificate and they've been denied. And that's confirmed by factcheck.org, uh, which is cited by members of Congress as, as suggesting this matter has been settled. They all pointed to, well, it's online. <laughs> check out, check out those Obama websites. They're all online. Right. And, and what's interesting is, and this is from Arlen Specter, and he's just one of many that said, well, you know, the website fact check, that's, that's, what, that's what has shown this. Janice Akubo was asked by PolitiFact to take a look at this certificate presented by Obama. Her very first impression was that's a Hawaiian birth certificate. But then she realized there's no folds on it. There's no seal on it. It doesn't have all this other information on it that is normally contained on a certificate of live birth. And she finally stated, I don't know if it's possible that we can say beyond a doubt what this image represents. And yet the media still tries to say that she certified Barack Obama's birth certificate. Do they not understand that the presidency may have been usurped by a foreign power? In consideration of this very good promise of transparency, why can't the president respond to the petitioned requests of 400,000 American citizens 
by releasing a certified copy of his long-form birth certificate listing hospital. <laughs> 400,000. You're looking for the president's birth certificate? Yep. It's on the internet. No, no, no. The, the long-form <laughs> listing his hospital and physician. Lester, th this, uh, con this question in many ways continues to astound me. What do you think of Obama, President Obama? I don't think he's an American, personally. As a senior elections clerk for the city and county of Honolulu in 2008, apparently is making the stunning claim that Barack Obama was absolutely and definitely not born in Hawaii, as the White House has maintained all along. To clean toilets in the White House, you need to provide all of your uh, proper documents, your birth certificate. Adam says, I had direct access to the Social Security database, the national crime computer, state driver's license information, international passport information, basically just about anything you can imagine to get someone's identity. He said, I could look up what bank your home mortgage was in. I was informed by my boss that we did not have a birth record for Obama. At that same time, there were conflicting reports that Obama had been born at one of these two hospitals in Honolulu. So, Adam says his office checked with both facilities. They told us, Adam said, we do not have a birth certificate for Obama. There's no one who's come forward from the medical community in Hawaii to validate that they were present or participated in any fashion in Barack Obama's birth. There are 10,000 more important issues uh, for people in this country to discuss uh, rather than uh, uh, whether or not the, the president is uh, uh, whether or not the president is a citizen. Is he? That's another question. Is he president of the United States? According to the Constitution, in order to be eligible for president, you have to be a natural born citizen. Uh, he has refused to provide proof that he is, in fact, a natural-born citizen. And his Kenyan relations say that he was born in Nairobi at a time when his mother was too young to transmit U.S. citizenship. So I'm not even sure he's president of the United States. No, that's not a laughing matter. Neither are many of our military people now who are going to court to ask the question, do we have to obey a man who is not qualified under the Constitution? I believe there are reasonable arguments that President Obama may not have been born on American soil. The online certification by birth that can be found on the internet and which has been waved around by TV news announcers is not an original birth certificate. Announcers on CNN and MSNBC said that this is an original birth certificate, but that isn't true. You don't think he's American? Do you think he was born in Kenya? Tell it, you know, if, you, if you're not willing to produce an original certificate, like a birth certificate, then you got something to hide. If he doesn't have something to hide, produce it. Many Kenyans, including Sarah Obama, the maternal step-grandmother to Barack Obama, Kenya's ambassador to the U.S., Peter Ogego, and recently the Kenyan cabinet minister, James Orango, in a speech to the Kenyan parliament, are quoted saying that President Obama was born in Kenya. In Kenya, as you know, I came back with affidavits from Obama's grandmother that Obama was born, she was present, she claims, at the birth of Obama in Mombasa. Barack has led by example. Uh, when we took our trip to Africa and visited his home country in Kenya. Our president-elect Obama's birthplace over in Kenya, is that going to be a national uh, spot to go visit where he was born? It's um, already uh, an attraction. Uh, but his, his birthplace, they'll, be, they'll put up a marker there? So it's already well known. Uh, okay. as a yeah. Yeah. The document seen on the internet is altered. Alterations to these certifications make them not admissible in court as evidence. So Obama is not a citizen? I don't think so. Press Secretary Robert Gibbs has now become quite famous for simply laughing in the face of any reporter who dares to ask the questions. In addition, he simply marginalizes the reporter or sidesteps the question altogether. The Constitution matters, so does the truth. Americans deserve answers, not a continuing cover-up. That is why I have invited the court-martial I am about to undergo. I was born in a communist country, and I have to tell you what I've seen with media and what I've seen in court in this country during the last year remind, reminds me, it's an eerie resemblance of what I've seen in a communist Soviet Union. The whole question could go away 
if President Obama would just say, okay, you all want to see the certificate? Here's my birth certificate. I would simply be satisfied if I could look at your admission application to Columbia University. I want to see what name did you graduate under. I want to see whose citizenship did you respond to when you applied for admission to Columbia. Show me that and I'll back up. But we can't see that either. Because if we saw it, it wouldn't say Barack Hussein Obama, it would say Barry Sorrentoro of Jakarta, Indonesia. A foreign student is what it would say. That's why you can't see it and he will not release it.